Hello everyone and welcome to the stream. Let me double check that we have everything. We have the sound and video seems to be good as well. Welcome Onion. You're always there, the first one. Timer. Uh, the timer. Oh, you mean in the in the panel? <coughs> what? I have the mic. Let me check. The mic is good, Onion. I mean, the the game music is not there yet because I'm not in the game quite yet. But give me a sec. You have the game music and my voice, both of them, hopefully. And I'm hydrating. Can't hear anything. Do you want to have a look for me? Thank you, love. I'm getting the green lights everywhere. Okay, I'm speaking so you can tell me. But I can hear keyboard typing. You heard my keyboard? You heard my angry typing? That should be good. How about now? Excuse me? Boosting it a bit then. Voices and mic. I mean, for the mic, I would have to add a gain. Okay, I've added, I've boosted the mic. Onion, how is it on your side? really should be good like I got you know all the the sensors going up and down it's just quiet you sure it's not on your end I mean I know sometimes it's quiet but I really can't go much louder than that Crank up the volume for a bit and uh, if other people are telling me that it's way too quiet then I'll add some gain to the mic. Even more gain to the mic. So I haven't changed anything since last Monday. In the meanwhile I was having a look through my quests and there's actually a lot of things that I haven't done. But we were here in Anvil because this is the last city where I wanted to get my recommendation and we did there was a frost mage that attacked us I was it was very very laughable honestly and now we should be turning the quest in that's an awful lot of cows I mean good it's good that they are cows based on the volume setting you have Nev stream sounds normal. Nev does have good sound. That is very true. And I'm still very quiet. I'll add some gain. Let me see. I mean, it's... Quite a bit already, but all right, let's boost that. There, I really don't dare going much higher than that. Is that better for you, Onion? And the Guild of Mages was right there. Also, people want to Welcome talk to, to me. That's why I think about a gang. 
An all-female gang of thieves has been recently plaguing Anvil with very normal sound. <laughs> okay, good. Robin. They pick on only the men. <laughs> if you want to help us do something about it, go talk to Gogan and Melona. Let's just say Gogan is intimately involved and leave it at that. Okay. Is, is it his girlfriend? And who's this guy? Yeah, I've heard of him. Isn't he a soldier or guardsman in the Imperial City? Maybe. Hall's ropes faster can run faster than anyone I've ever seen. Of course, he can't often walk a straight line. <laughs> well, that's, it's a matter of choice, okay? Speed or direction. All right, let's turn that quest in. Anyway, how have you been, Onion? Ah, oh, yes, that was the lady with the with the fancy hair. So, what of the rogue mage? Has he been found? That was a she, wasn't it? A she, you say? And she's dead. Mm-hmm. Well, Ariel and Roliand did what needed to be done. No, I did no it. More innocent deaths. Then I less Oh, come on! I'm around on the Discord. Well enough for yourself. I'll pass along my recommendation to Raminus. Well, thank you. Though I must say, I doubt it will do you much good in the end. You'd be surprised how easily they forget about the little people. She sounds a little bitter on that one, honestly. Archmage Traven was. Yeah, that's not new. You have received. I well, have indeed. Necromancy. We know that. Pay attention, and you can learn a lot. Do I want to train an illusion? Let's just have one. I don't even know what skill I am at. But I've trained. And I've become more famous as well. Hey, Mifune-san. Mifune-san is following me. Um, Fenrir, not so much. Okay, while we are here... Probably should explore the surroundings. No, I had already read that. Is it the one with a haunted manor? Well met. Well met indeed. Oh, you only have spells. I'm not interested. Farewell. Have me. Hot can eat for a day. Well, have a single coin. <laughs> hey, Prof. Um, uh, yes, Onion. I am installing the cat follower in Skyrim because, because cats. And Skyrim is usually quite okay. I normally I don't want to touch my mod list, you know, mid uh, mid play. But adding a mod shouldn't be a problem. And with Skyrim, it's uh, it's really removing the mods that messes things up uh yes it's because we have uh british summertime that, that's why prof i'm sorry i know i <laughs> know we're having a hard time to think you know to find times where we are both uh available either to stream or to watch a stream and on top of that uh with the british summer times it's there's an extra extra hour difference um well, I must say, I'm kind of curious to see what's up with the, the Guild of Mages because I've never completed all the recommendation quests. That's the first time. Are there more quests with the Guild of Mages or is it just one quest per city and then you're done? I really hope there's going to be a lot more, including in the other cities. Otherwise... Otherwise, it's a bit disappointing. You saw it and you thought of me. Well, thank you. Really, it's it's exactly what I need. And my character likes pets. Okay, all my characters like pets. Let's be honest about that. And she's a thief. And uh, and I did have a. I do have still. No, I had read that too. I, I still have uh, Loki, my cat. Uh, but Loki was just a terrible companion. He would actually tell on me to the guards when I, when I was stealing things. So, not great. Alright, let's have a look at the quests. I have received a recommendation. I must not travel. I could do that. 
But let's do that actually. It's happening here in Anvil. It takes forever to travel to Anvil. I mean, unless you're fast traveling, obviously. So let's see, where is the person you want me to talk to? Yes, I will just follow the quest marker. We need to go to Gorgon's house, which is right across town. Okay. Look at me jump. I'm still rubbish at controlling my character in third person though. So fast. Alright, Gorgon, this has better be your house. No. How goes it? Looking for Gorgon, that's that's how it goes. Okay, we're not here to steal, we're here to talk to that poor sap. Hey Gorgon. What do you want? Let me let me I want to know about the gang. Talk to Malona. She runs the council. Judge, jury, and executioner. Okay. I'm so glad I came and talked you to you. Listen to the Sorry, I'm new in town. Heinrich Oak. Talk to her. Okay. She seems to have all the answers. I would like to get my husband Gogan out of hot water. Sure, I can help. What has he done? Believe me, he'll need all the help he can get to worm his way out of this one. To think he'd fall for the gang's scheme. Ugh, I could kill him. I'm sorry. I'm rambling, and you look confused. Let me explain. Yeah, do go on. I mean, does she really need me to prompt her? The women her? in the gang use their wiles to lure men out to some remote location and rob them blind. It's been going on for some time now. And the men are the still not cautious about, about it? it? Because frankly, the men who are robbed are so embarrassed, they don't want to report it. Take, for example, that good-for-nothing husband of mine, Gogan. He cared more about their charms than my own. Wow, that's really odd. Where can I find when them? Gogan was, um, with the women, they took something quite valuable from him. No, it's not His what you're virginity? <laughs> he was carrying a precious family heirloom with him when he was lured out to their lair. It was a small ring given to him on our wedding day. The ring belonged to my mother and has been in the family for generations. A I'm hundred to give you gold. All the money I have to You know, can with you that... I can do nothing. Yes, I'll help Thank you. Heinrich Oakenhall is married to a Bosmer? I suppose the women are less annoying than the men. Thank you, Fargoth, for ruining the reputation of all Bosmers for generations to come. All I can tell you is that the best place to start is at the Flowing Bowl. It's a tavern located outside the city walls. Gogan may be able to give you more information. Okay. I like it here. People are very good. So glad you like it there. The flowing bowl attracts the worst and will have to walk. What do you want? Information. See, my wife couldn't keep a big mouth shut. Yes, it's true. I lost the family ring to those sirens. I'm ashamed about the whole incident, but not ashamed enough to ask for your help. What well, I'm not asking you I to was ask sitting me. sitting in the flowing bowl when the most fetching Nord woman you've <sighs> ever seen walked in with an equally attractive imperial woman following. After we exchanged words, I followed them out to a farmhouse. Inside, they asked me to remove my clothes and items. Well, I did. <laughs> and then suddenly they brandished weapons and robbed me. They sent me away with barely a stitch of clothing. Harlots. And then you insult them, Just you idiot. Just get that ring back. I want to say... Clearly, I don't support the mind. activity of the women, but... You know, you're the idiot that fell for it. I'm merely a man. How could I resist? <laughs> Please. Okay, message. I'm going to get out of here before I decide to not help him. Whether he asked or not. Six house. Yes, I'm with you. There we go. Okay.
You want me to cross the whole city again, don't you? Oh no, there's a gate right there. Good. Glad I checked. I mean, I know I can run quickly now, but still. The flowing ball, this is it. And we're looking for a fetching Nord woman and an equally fetching Imperial woman. Hello, Timothy LaRouche. Hi there. Erwin was sparring with well, some of the hands. Okay. I'm Main Lord. I'm the twin in brown, remember? Sure. Do you know anything about the gang? Yes. I've noticed some of them in my establishment. They don't break the law while they're here, so there's nothing I can do. If you wait around long enough, I'm sure they'll show up. Sure. I can do that. I can wait. Only quality goods for sale here. Let's get some bread. Oh, Fist of the Drunkard. <laughs> Goody. Um, cheese, obviously, we're buying cheese. That's a good deal. And, um, and sweet cake. You know, in the middle of a fight, it's actually... Good. I appreciate your bit. All right. I Good just day. don't know how long we're a supposed. To... Oh, there sheep. they are, I'm fetching women. Life. Of course. Uh, Talk to Faustina. She's got a proposition for you. Oh, because I'm a fetching uh, woman too. Don't know if this That's is what's true, happening, isn't it? Never seen you here before. You look like you can handle yourself in a fight, and I'm sure you wouldn't mind making a little extra money. Hmm. Mm. I've put together a. Well, a gang. We make money by luring fools. She's out really to the trusting of to tell me that. And robbing them blind. Our targets, weak-willed men who are easily fooled into believing they will have their way with us. <laughs> oh, men are so gullible. I can't entirely I'll disagree. I'll leave the decision up to you. Yeah, yeah. If you want to join up, meet us at the Gwedden farmhouse around eleven in the evening. I'll mark it on your map. Okay. Oh, and one more thing. If you breathe a word of this to the city guard, you won't live long enough to get whatever reward they're offering. Charming. She's very, very charming. Um, there's no point talking to her now. She's gonna go to the place. Without question. What? 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 Who? That was. Morning. Have you heard any word about the other provinces? I'm sorry, Isolde. Were you in fact a member of the Mything Dawn? I mean, you're the unluckiest person ever. You Nothing just like didn't that. stand a chance. Good. That was, uh, you know. I heard you know how to move in light armor. I sure do. And we want to find the farm. You're telling me I should go through the city to find a farm? Are you kidding me? When I've already found it. However, what is the time? It is 10. 10 in the morning. So basically I have 12 hours before I need to go to the farm. You know what that means? We're gonna go and explore. I think I've already been up there. But we'll have a look around, see if there's anything that shows up on the compass. Because we do have about 12 hours to kill. Mm hmm. Oh, that's a gate I closed. Is this a good time? Lady Stone. I guess it wasn't. There really isn't too much around here, is there? Alien ruin up there, maybe? Yes, oh, but I've already explored it. I mean, I guess if it's uh, if it's already discovered, 
What do you give me? Daedric bow, sure. Yeah, it is discovered. So I've most likely already explored it. No, no. I don't know, I hear people, you know, aggressive people and I don't see them. Oh, there they are. Are you, are you a bad person? Your presence here. <laughs> warming up, you pathetic worm. Sure. Let me warm up my, my arrow. Arc and archery. Oh, come on. There we go. Hey, I have no, I'm not dead. I, wow, I don't know what happened to me. I rolled, I was knocked down, but I'm not dead. Oh, you're there. You knocked me down, you idiot. How's that? <laughs> Whee! It's very, very enjoyable, I must say. All right, except I really don't want to pick up any of those. Um, do you have any good plans for the weekend, guys? I mean, besides, you know, watching me play Oblivion, which is a great plan. Don't get me wrong. Let's be, let's be sneaky. Wee it's pretty dark in there, isn't it? And something is seeing me. How can they detect me when I'm, you know, hiding? And the sound of it. Oh, I've just lost my armor. Yes, thank you for holding a torch. So I know where to aim. Didn't I? I do have a spell now. It reminds you of the fight with Skyrim Giant you've seen in videos. Well, in what way does it remind you of, uh, of those fights? And I believe I have a useful... Where's my little um, summon forest wisp? There we go. I will never be blind again. I just need to be patient. <coughs> Sorry. The problem with sending my enemies flying is that, well, it's a lot harder to loot their bodies. Arrows I will take. Braided. I think I already got some of the braided set. So I'm just going to leave there. I do like the jewelry. And it's quite light, though I really ought to be careful. I'm guessing I'm carrying way too many ingredients for my own good. That's what usually happens. Oh, I'm so glad I was curious enough to have a look through that pile of rubble. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mifune-san. You really got quite a few arrows in your face. Yeah, not happening. You get hit with a club and you sail high into the air. Oh yes, that way. Fair enough. Except it wasn't a giant. It wasn't a club. It was me. And you are Frost? No, you're Fenrir. I suppose I really don't need to summon another pet right now. I should be okay. I need to be careful, I only have 13 arrows and I tend to run out in, uh, in the middle of a fight. It's always very exciting. I 
So this is most likely the way I will be coming from. Then we can happily proceed this way. Oh, I see you, enemy with a torch. Okay. <laughs> there was a lot of action there. I tried to shoot an arrow. I rolled. Gotcha. Oh. Oh, bummer. There's a lot of them and I'm over encumbered. Crap, they hit me. Okay. If they keep falling for the trap, that's good for me. I... Ah, uh, no, no, no. Get, let me shoot that one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why the lag, buddy? Calm down, calm down. You will die soon enough. I'm guessing this bear has been summoned. Okay. They're happily draining quite a lot of my stats, but not doing damage. Unfortunately, that's the only problem when using the arcane arrows. Um, I can't zoom in. Hop. I don't know why the lag. Come on. This is a test of patience, not the quest we had to do in um, Bravil, I think it was. Yeah, shooting is a bit tricky. Fortunately, if my enemies are running towards me in a straight line, then I can shoot. Come on. Not you, Fenrir. I don't want to shoot you. Sure. There's your bear. There's my pet. Oh, come. I'm right here. And there's another one casting invisibility. I don't think these are my pets and I've run out of arrows. <sighs> I'm sure if I quit the game and reload, it's not gonna be laggy. I don't know why it does it uh, from, t from time to time. In fact, I think I'm gonna try it because it's just annoying the way it is right now. I'm making, however, a hard save. Six successful. Okay. Let's try that again. There's no reason why we should, you know, punish ourselves. Like playing Oblivion with a slow time shout. Yes, but permanently. And um, yeah, it's just not fun. And welcome to the stream, uh, Kaz. Nice to see you here. It, I really think it's a system lag, which is odd because uh, my computer really is not completely stupid. It's not, you know, the best machine out there, but it's not entirely stupid. Especially for Oblivion. Yes, it is modded, but I don't have any sort of graphic mods that would make it, you know, even more demanding. See? No lag now. Problem is, which one is my pet? I think that's Fenrir. That's my pet. Thank you, Fenrir. Yes, 
very, very crowded in here. 47 arrows, I should be good to go for a while. Ah, black bear, not mine. Oh, Mifune, I'm so sorry. And it's even possible that some of these arrows are mine. Well, this one is pretty hype. Not dead yet. But that should do it. Well, this Your place. Presence here will My presence here is, you know, I need to spend the time until 11. Are we? Are we good? I'm so sorry, Mifune. No, we're not good yet. Okay, when I right click. <laughs> When I right click, I don't zoom in, but something happens. I wonder what it is. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, all right. It's not deadly. We're good. We're good. Whew. Before I figure it out, you had some questions for me, but you'll have them for Discord. Absolutely, no problem. Uh, happy to, to help if I can. Before I figured out how to run multiple Morrowind installs, you try installing it on your really old computer to test mod before actually using them with a bunch of graphic mods. It dropped to two to three FPS. You know what? We've all been there. Uh, Morrowind for for the past, yeah, I'm going to say 10 years at least. So I'm sure I'm not going to lie. Morrowind has been my benchmarking program whenever my computer was either improve, make it, you know, extra, extra RAM, new graphic card, whatever. I would launch ba uh, Morrowind and go to Balmora and then see how much more I could ask of my Morrowind game. Um, and sometimes, often, <laughs> I did ask too much. All right. I think we may have finally cleared the place which means now I'm gonna have to go body hunting yes and you know what I know I have my um, lovely willow the wisp helping me I'm just oh. you're just warming up good warm up to this okay no I mean sorry I meant warm up to oh come on warm up to this you dead you're not dead are you how about now there we go <laughs> the arcane archery is really really neat uh, it might be a little too strong but then again I had a KVM switch so I could use a single keyboard, monitor and mouse with the old computer and my real computer at the same time. Okay, so you had the whole thing quite nicely set up. Nothing like poor Telvanis, my game crashed because my poor PC couldn't cut it. Ow. I have yet to uh, install Tamriel Rebuilt, so I guess, I guess I'm waiting for the next computer update or upgrade. I'll take the torch. I've recovered some arrows. I get some elven arrows. I like that. Sturdy, braided. This is all light armor. I somehow doubt it is better than what I have. And most importantly, it's not gonna look nearly as good. And you know. Vanity player. Can't open that. Can't bash it either. Because I'm too weak. Okay, that's the door to the next level. That's good to know. Oh, Mifune, I wish I could take those arrows out. I mean, you're a true trooper. But it, it breaks my heart to see you running around with arrows piercing you 
nose to nose to tail no, there we go that's the one i wanted that's the one i Ooh, golden akaviri robe fortify intelligence resist magic oh i love that fortify health spell absorption why not resist this is lovely please look good please look good please look good moment of truth porcupine cat that's what it is please believe me no no pets were harmed in the making of this video it's just illusion that's what it is just illusion i promise you come on show me my robe i want to try it on gas thank you so much for the follow Make yourself comfortable. Yeah, my sneaky pricey cuirass is broken. Uh. I guess it's not bad and I'm gonna keep it for a while at least. Uh, I am just carrying way too much because I have a Dagon battle axe. I mean, I know it's worth a fortune. But you know what, if I'm not going to use it, then there's no point me keeping it. The same goes for all these arrows, I guess. Same thing for the jewelry, I guess. And this is a dryad. She doesn't care for jewelry, even though she's clad in gold, golden embroidery. Yeah, she could she could have fooled you there, but she doesn't care for it. Hydrate, hydrating. Thanks for the reminder, Onion. I did not try my blood leather pants, but then the armor is just stupid. What's great is, thanks to the, the shield enchantment, most of my armor is broken. But it doesn't matter, because every piece, or most of the pieces, I have a shield enchantment. I still have the maximum armor, so that's good. This is where we fell. I really just need the arrows. And the lockpicks and the shafts. Yes, yeah, so I can make my own arrows. An ambrosia, you know, it's the, the drink of the gods. I would be stupid to turn it down. Good, these were annoying to kill, but at least, you know, they're paying me back with so many arrows. And elven arrows are pretty good. So happy with that. That's good. Honestly, I was so busy running around shooting at everything that moved or that I thought moved because I couldn't really tell. I don't even realize, I don't even remember running through here. Though clearly I must have. I mean, we do have the the evidence. We cannot open that. How about that? Ooh, rune. Nice. Mercantile plus two. Well, still, I take it. I like those. Illuminate stuff. I don't need that anymore. I got a will-o'-the-wisp and a torch. Elmwood arrows, white oak arrows, sure. Uh, 
That's where we have the trap. I hope my pets are okay. Which uh, reminds me. Ah, uh, Chthonian, thank you so much for the host. How are you doing? Enchanted arrows, yes please. Okay, these are probably not that good. But Enamelt, Redwood Bow, I've never seen that before. Is it better than my current bow? My bow is actually a Duema bow and sure I did put a rune once upon a time, uh, not a rune, a sigil stone. So it was quite good when it was draining health but right now damage 18, probably a little more if I fixed it. Damage 27, yeah we're gonna keep you, thank you very much. The armor looks good, heavy though, so not for me. Hey Zeriva! Zeriva, you know I'm happy to see you, but shouldn't you be making a game right now? Can't open it. Not bad. We've seen we've seen way worse in terms of loot. And I think that's pretty much this level. We're ready to take the door. Green haired. Well, thank you. I have uh, I have found a way to dye my hair or to look like I'm dyeing my hair. It's a special kind of dye. It's new. It's called the the aura dye. <laughs> so it's green only around. You would love to stay, but Glisp has started streaming, and I think he said he was gonna stream some GTA. So, different, different vibe. Really, Zeriva, you're making a point of abandoning me every turn you get a chance. Kaz, you're, you're going to finish your Morrowind mod. Wait, what mod? What mod? You know, I'm always interested in new mods. So, do tell me. Hey Fenrir, you're here. You're a good dog. No, 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 no. Oh, I hope I didn't hurt Fenrir in the process. Yeah, braided bow is not so good. Just kidding. <laughs> Thank you, Zerva. Unless it's Aurel, I get that. And, and and I'm trying to be strong and not be jealous of my own boyfriend. It's particular to my character who has this weird obsession with pillows. Wait, didn't I see a screenshot? Oh, you're there, love. What? You're there. What? You should be making a game. Get back to it. Of course, unless it's Ariel. I get it. I accept it. It's It's fair, I guess. I think the door was somewhere here. Right there. Good. Named the Embroidery Guild. I like that, Cass. Do you have a um, whip in progress? Like a, a thread somewhere? Or something on Discord? Or is it still very top secret? Okay, let's go back to sneaking. Let's drop the torch. Let's get the bow ready. Oh, and I need to test again. What is that right click thingy? I don't like an empty, a long empty corridor. I'm gonna go around the side. Because I suspect the worst out of those ruins. Hello? Who's there? No one. No one's there. Shh. You resisted 17 points of the damage? Isn't that cheating? You lost me? Really? 
Just follow the very, very shiny arrows. And you should be okay. We covered three arrows. Good. All good. Not yet. It's in the very beginning stages. Adding NPCs and trying to figure out how to mod in custom dialogues. Well, I mean, do you, you said you mentioned the Discord, so I can only assume, I mean, I can have a quick look. I can only assume you joined it. Uh, feel free to ask questions over there. I know it's been a while. I know it's been a while uh, since I released the tutorial, but happy to help with the, with the dialogues. It can be a little tricky. Okay, now just take your time, Oblivion, take your time. The name of some people. She, <laughs> what? I missed that. It's my mic. What? It's my mic. It was a gift from my family. For Christmas, no less. This morning, I was gonna record uh, a Let's Play. And I realized my mic wasn't working. So I was like, did you unplug my mic? And yes, he did. It's very subtle, very subtle. You'll have it when it's your, your turn to stream, okay? Uh, that's, that's my pet, I think. I should not shoot my pet. You have the solo 3D rendering most out. Oh, good. Well, you haven't shown me that. You're not paying attention. You don't know if it'll be worth most people's time, but it's more to roleplay my character. Well, I'm all for roleplaying mod, especially if it's you know something quirky and different. Then, uh, then I think it's cool. And I was saying, I, I thought I remembered, I thought I remembered seeing a screenshot somewhere. Was that? Was that maybe you on the on the Morrowind Discord? That'd be mine. Okay, I hear my enemies. There you are. Yeah. The right button is to auto target. I'm not sure I want to use that. I mean, it sounds great, obviously. But that feels a little cheaty, doesn't it? Raccoons. <laughs> the lady you kill rats for in the fighter's guild is the leader. Well, that makes perfect sense. Mm, let's not waste our precious lockpicks when we can cast a spell. A weak spell, but it's just good enough. Aegis robe, 12% shield, resist normal weapon. I don't think it's as good as the one I have, but. And it probably doesn't look as good. And we know looks are everything. braided arrow. Right now I think I'm using my weakest arrows which is just fine. I'm saving those braided arrows and the elven arrows for much much later. Mm, cappuccino. Sushi, yes. Oh, the last time we had sushi was yesterday? No, the day before. On Thursday we had sushi, Aurel brought uh, sushi and we decided to go to the park to enjoy the sushi. So we had a sushi picnic in the park, in the sun. We had to be in the shade because it was so freaking hot in London, you would not believe it. I wanted to look at the map. So that's our lux luxury sushi. Just uh, sushi in the park is the, the summum. Sure, I'll take that. 
And don't remember to... To poison my arrows, honestly. Because it's... Well, it's tedious to have to open the inventory and I'm over encumbered. Maybe I'm a little hungry. That explains it. And I'm hungry, I lose strength and then I can't carry anything. Yeah, <laughs> you were saying, Prof, that you you have to you have to put up with the cold weather. You as well, Cass. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining about the weather. I mean, if you're in London and you complain that it's sunny, then you lose the right to complain when it's, you know, rainy. So I don't complain. I was just saying it was really hot and we sat in the shade and that was great. <laughs> I want my food. Dinner plate. There we go. And we should have plenty of cheese. Onion, would you like to share the cheese with everyone? That should be enough. <laughs> See? Not rigged. Oh, and you got 300 septims. For everyone. Thanks, Onion. You had to dig your car out of the snow to get to work yesterday. I know the feeling. Now, let me tell you. Someone is attacking again. I used to live in Slovakia. Now, it's not It's not Siberia. It's not, you know, the, the great white uh, expanse of lands you can get in Canada. But it can get quite cold quite cold and my little car it was a, a 206 a little Peugeot 206 not fast not amazing but it was my car anyway in the morning during winter and winter was long we'd have to scratch you know outside obviously sit in the car and then scratch the ice of the windshield inside <laughs> so there was a double ice removing happening I saw you. Let's get this over with. Yes, uh, let's try. Oh, <gasps> I am so sorry, my pet. I'm so sorry, Fenrir. I shot you good. That was so not intentional, obviously. Glass arrows, nice. And feathers to make some more. Me likey. You do that too? So that's um, <laughs> just dusting on the ground. Oh, that's fine. To be perfectly honest, I really love the snow up there in the mountains. When it's in the city and it gets mushy and dirty and you see where every dog has pissed. It really, really loses its charm. Windshields even? Yes. <laughs> But wind's wield is good. It's fine. I get it. I'm totally dyslexic when I type. So between the honest typos, the honest mistakes, uh, then getting mixed up between my QWERTY and my AZERTY keyboard, it's a hot mess. It is an absolute hot mess. Uh, Zerv, you're still around? If so, tell me... Yeah, that's a little too good, honestly, I think. So I, I will refrain from using the auto lock type of attack unless my enemies are in the dark and I cannot see them. No, but even then, uh, I'll try to refrain from using it, it's just too good. Yeah, I want to get closer to see you. There you are. However, when I'm in the Imperial City for, you know, the fight of my life, maybe, just maybe, I'll have to resort to it so that every shot counts. Does it? Where are you? But those sylvan archers, they're like... 
think there's someone yeah there Where are you? It's kind of good to, to see where the enemies are when it's so dark. It's very, very tempting. Uh oh. Am I to be here? Damn you. Come on, with three of them there. Someone someone is close to me and attacking me, but I can't see them. Invisibility, that's such a low trick. And I really need to... Take care of myself a little bit. Yeah, I'm properly hidden now. Oh. Well, I see you there. There's no question about that. It would be great if you could be paralyzed or... Okay. Over encumbered. Need to wait a few seconds. Okay. No, no, no. Come on, bear. I don't want to shoot you, bear. You're a creature of nature. As I am. Your illusion spell is going to be the end of you. We is everyone dead? No, not yet. Yes, that would be really nice. Stay down. I, I like hearing that ding sound. That indicates that my enemy is really dead. Oh, bummer. You're not giving me any time, are you? Don't summon anything else. We, we're fine the way it is. Enough. Oh. Poor Mifune. No wonder it's got only one eye left. Poor, poor, poor creature. That's just so unfair. You can't tell. Oh, okay. Fine. I'll be patient then. I, I did see on the Discord you said you were going to do something possibly real quick. Either way, I will play it. Wow. I thought I was speaking up one hour. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mifune. Okay, I, ca I can't look at you right now, Mifune. I'm sorry. The guilt is just too strong. I like my Will o' the Wisp, but I have to wait for it to follow me, and that's quite annoying. Wait, don't leave me hanging. I'm not going to leave you hanging. I won't. Come on, inventory. Open up. Don't be shy. Hey. Venom Killer. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the stream. We are torturing our pet cat that has got a hundred arrows in its body but feels fine. You're still waiting. Wait. Wait, Zeriva, you lost me. Can you tell me... Oh, I did not finish my question. Is that what happened? I'm sorry. Uh, my question was, can you tell me what sort of game you'll be making for Ludum Dare? Sorry, I really thought I asked my question. Sorry. <sighs> sorry, it's really quite hot. I want to make sure I have arrows. That's one thing. See, I only have nine of those left. Right now, I'm not interested in using my very best arrow. So steel, I think is good enough. And I want to use, I do have a spell that allows me to see in the dark. Dark vision. Six house, let's do it. Okay, that's the one. 
It's a bit, you know, monochrome. Cursed arrows. Ah, oh, you bet. I'll take that. You may keep your broken items. Uh oh. Exit. Thank you. I'm getting so many arrows, it might be actually too many for me. <laughs> ingredients, I want those. Though maybe I should be a little more picky about the ingredients that I pick. <laughs> Did you see what I do there? What a pun. What a pun. Want, want, want. If I have a fletching kit with me, maybe putting the arrows together is going to be slightly lighter than having all the different parts of the arrows. Just tore them in a cat. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. Poor cat. Uh, Prof, you're saying, I wish I could find a morning mod that gave sneak penalties for light level without editing almost every cell in the game. Uh, I mean, I know that there are some light based skill mods and you're right, they're rather heavily scripted. But if you look at the Morrowind code patch, it, it does fix sneak. Oh no, it, fo it fixes uh, pickpocket. I think, I'm not too sure now. Okay, ignore what I'm saying. I'm not sure. <laughs> Zeriva, you're doing an FPS mix with golf-like movement. In short, two cameras, one for FPS stuff and the second one top view where you golf yourself to move around. Hey, that's pretty cool. You think you will just wing it and finish it today? Nice. 100% chameleon is achievable with Blood Moon expansion. Uh, yeah, most likely. You're right. Kaz, you died? No, you didn't. What, in the sixth house? Yes, it happens. It happens. And you can blame Onion. He's the one who said that the sixth house was too easy. And we should have something a little more challenging. True. True story. And I got distracted. I didn't make my hours. Yay, pixel art. I like it when Adel makes pixel art. Because sometimes it's an avatar for me, but sometimes not. <laughs> All right, making arrows, making arrows, nothing shall distract me. Do I have a Fletcher kit? Yes. Okay, the best I can do is iron arrows. Wow. But let's... Okay. It's just a tad lighter, but not that much. You know what, Welkin Stone? They, they restore Magicka. I never run out of Magicka. You have no soul. I never use soul gem, um, soul trap. Go away. I like you if you already have a soul, because then I can recharge my weapons a tiny bit. Lesser, like this one, we keep it. Skull of the Undead King. Where on earth did I find this thing? Arcane Stone. That's the stone that allows me to have the arcane arrows we keep. Tourmaline. I know it's light, but I'm still getting rid of it. Platinum coins weigh nothing. Let's skip them. I don't think I have anything I can repair. Yeah. Because it's all enchanted and I don't have the skill. Hey, at least I'm taking the arrows out. Mifune gets stuck with them. <laughs> let's let's not make fun of Mifune, okay? He's the bravest kitten out there. And you'll be okay, Kaz. Just try the next time round. I'm sure we'll manage. What was it? It was a corpus. I am lame corpus, so it's different. You know, you attack them and boom, they all come to kill you. Potion-wise, 
these I believe are mine and I shouldn't have kept them. I'm gonna drink a cup of tea. Good. Uh, weak potion of sorcery. Okay, sure, why not? Sure, why not? I don't need wine. I really, really don't need wine. We definitely keep the coffee. You never know when you need it. I tried those, they were ugly. And here is just my amazing amount of arrows. All the things that I just drop. Novice, Welkin, Novice. Coins, nice. Hydrating. What's that? No, 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 no. By the way, how is your boy Adel doing? What is his game idea? If it's not a secret, no, it's not a secret. Um, y you want to, you want to answer that? Um, in the chat. Mhm. Mm He's going to tell you in his own words. So <laughs> that sounds promising. You were only the worst cleric in all of Vardenfell. <laughs> oh, onion. Pun point for you there. Nice. Yes, I did type that right. Oh, oh. Hang in there, Skyrim. Good, good, good. I believe I have searched everything. Are you amazed at how fast I can type? I... Oh, wow. You're so quick. Did you just copy it from your blog uh, entry? No. Uh-huh. Well, there you go. The in-depth explanation of uh, the game that Aurel is making for Ludum Dare. Uh, by the way, guys, I mean, I know we're, it's really not the same uh, scene as um, The Elder Scrolls or RPG games in general. But currently this weekend there is a competition, it's called Ludum Dare, happens every three or four months, four? Four. Four. And, uh, and basically there's a, there's a theme and people make a game in either 48 hours or 72 hours for that theme. And the theme for this Ludum Dare is... Uh, combine two genres that are incompatible which is promising I mean you should have uh, you should end up with things that are definitely different okay I will take the Vala stone thank you uh, and all the games you can then play all the games on the Ludum Dare website let me very ambitious he always has very ambitious things uh, no, not Mudley, stupid me. Game Jam. There, if you have a look at either of these websites, these are Game Jams and all the games are there to play. The one hour Game Jam, don't, you know, expect something incredible. These are games made in an hour, as the name indicates. And I'm picking up too many things already. Okay, let me get rid of the worst arrows. Mithril are the worst arrows? I didn't see that coming. But let's say anything with damage 15 is not worth being carried. It's not the arrows it is. It's, uh, it's the potion and the ingredients. I know it. I'm gonna have to go home or summon a good friend of mine and I don't really want to do that. You remember reading that it's through that cheese it's through that cheese originated in a desert? Nomads transporting milk and water skins made from animal stomach run it from the stomach motion of the riding animal and the heat created cheese? I, I actually have no idea if that's the true story of how cheese was invented, but if it is, it's a very cool one. Uh, I like I like that. And it is true that some of the best 
discoveries were made pretty much by chance. I need to drop something more. It's just I don't want to drop my broken armor. <sighs> Fine, we're gonna drop useless potions or weak potions at the very least. Onion was asking if there was cheese in the desert. I missed that, sorry. Though I can't imagine it would keep very long, but that's a different story, isn't it? Let's see what are the heaviest potions. For everyone. everyone! Potion of feather, that's what I should be using, not dropping, I guess. Sorry, potions. I really need to go home and drop everything. This could be actually the end of the dungeon. The Vala stone is typically the, the best uh, treasure you get. In Eldel's game, you gonna put cheese? I mean, we have the sushi warriors. Why not the cheese guards? It was in an episode of Good Eats. I don't watch that show. But that's cheese. Yes, that's the cheese command. It's very important. We really need the cheese command. Why did I open my inventory? Please tell me. Why or oh why I wanted to check the map. No, there's still that bit to explore. Let's go. We want to go straight. We ignore the bodies, we ignore everything, we just keep going. That's one of the um, not really problems, not even annoyance. Oh, that one is charged and this one as well. But I do find it a little bit annoying when I enter a dungeon and all the enemies, novice, 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 we don't want, all the enemies in the dungeon are gonna come rushing towards me. So I have a very, very intense, intense battle right at the beginning and and then I'm just exploring empty corridors. Okay, and this is the way out. And we want we want to find a button to press right there. Another minor annoyance. And it's probably because of a, one of the overhauls that I have is that enemies respawn incredibly quickly. So by the time I've explored the second level of a dungeon, when I go through the first one again, enemies are back. Not this time though. Twenty-one, yes, you qualify. They're too heavy. Honestly. And I have increased my strength quite a bit, only for the carry capacity. Chedarzilla, <laughs> cheese centurion. We we could we could think of a, a whole army of cheeses. Let's drink that one. I don't think it's 11 o'clock just yet. I did not realize there were so many people. Oh, 
the summons. The summons are not disappearing. Dead for good this time. Glass arrows, I have to take that. I cannot. White orc arrows, 29. I have to take them. And the silver arrowheads as well. <sighs> Thank you for making it rain. Prof, you have 10k septims. Well, it builds up, doesn't it? What's the time? I cannot wait. There are enemies nearby. Stop picking things up. Let's go towards the farm. Uh, and I'll wait there if I have to. Anyway, I don't really see anything else to explore around here. It looks like I combed the area pretty well uh, before. It's like, <laughs> for a second, the music changed to combat, but I'm guessing Mifune took care of it. Hey, who got a jackpot? Onion. Fair enough. Uh, you didn't like the new... Uh, GC cover? Oh, for your game. Mm. I, I thought it... No, please don't say that. I, I gave you some honest feedback. And, you know, what do I know? I wouldn't be able to do better. But I felt that it, it doesn't really stand out and even though I know your game, by the way, if you want to put a link here, feel free. Um, even though I know your game, looking at that picture, I wouldn't necessarily have made the connection. Please don't, don't tell me I made you cry. Am I really, really going towards the farm. I don't think I'm going towards the farm. I think the, the quest marker shows me the the women, the gang. That's what's happening. You're kidding. Okay, good. <laughs> Zerf, you're horrible sometimes. You know. But yeah. Soon I won't be able to carry all of that. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I can... I know. I think I know. I'm gonna go to the nearest inn. There should be my luggage in there. And I can drop the ingredients. That alone should make it a lot easier to travel. That's the problem with that cover. It doesn't really fit the feel of the game. Yes, I mean, it has the comedic mix of suit and tentacle, but still. Wow, Onion, what do I do when you reach 100,000 septims? Like, septims are not going to have any value anymore. That's the sad truth of it. So what do I do? do? Do I melt all the septim coins to make a new, stronger currency? We can restore the Dwemer Dumax, maybe? I should make an extra currency for people who have too many septims. I don't know. One of those. I want to fast travel to the inn. Not the lighthouse, the dock gate, the docks. There is an inn there. If my potion of feather lasts long enough, I should be able to drop the ingredients in the chest. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. No, 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 the other way around, other way around. 43 seconds, I think it said. Uh, the old cover, I, I haven't seen the old cover, so I really can't. The flowing ball. I'm gonna need to rent a room so I have access to it. I'm Mainlaw. Hello. Can I have a bed? You don't have beds. Are you... 
Are you serious? In the meanwhile, 31 seconds. Shoo, shoo, Fenrir. That's food. Have you seen Is that the inn? Harbour House. But that teaches all a thing. If you're looking to learn a bit about potion, you never know. Shush, 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 people. Hiding. Stop talking to me. I have 14 seconds before, before I'm completely. Do you have beds? You don't. Go away. Good day. I'm not in the inn, am I? <laughs> I'm gonna have to drink the other potion. That's supposed to be an inn. Oh, is that where I need to go? I do have one extra potion. Let's drink it. Uh, yeah, I never saw the other cover, uh, Zerv. Onion, you wonder how many armor mods you have installed in Skyrim? Many, 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 many. Do, do bikini counts? Do bikinis count as armor? You know, it's debatable. Feather, thank you. Your cat just woke up from her nap and used the feed me command. <laughs> Be right back. <laughs> okay, Frost. Cats are very smart that way. If you're fighting water elementals, okay, I, I can I can go along with that. Somebody in there has to have the dialogue to rend a bed. How about Timothy LaRouche, late of the You're not the one. You were in the other pub a while Hi. ago. That would be the one that I can rent. Would you when? be? No, you're not the lady Good who's day. going to rent me my. Hello. Who is the owner of this fine establishment? Ye no. That's just silly. And this particular well track. I'm Thurindil. I don't know, I don't know, there's no one. Goodbye. This particular track for some reason always makes me feel of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Okay, I can't find a I can't find a a person to rent me the room. So that's stupid. It is six. On the on the way towards the farm, there's actually an inn just north of town. Um, if you're fighting, uh -huh, or if you have a tropical, uh, if you have tropical Skyrim installed, I could see why. I could see why that would be that would work. I guess. I guess. And you have equipable HDT dragon tails. That's to go with the tropical one. Like. That. No, that. Oh, wait. It's the main gate. I know there was, um. There was an inn. Is, is that at the Whisperer stable? farm with a whole lot of uh, cows a 
that's where I want to go. Sure, that's the Brina. Okay, and I'm completely wrong. The farm I want to go to is there. It's okay, I have time. Think it has foxtails and wolf tails and stuff too. Well, you know, that's everything you need for any beast race you could ever come up with. My problem with the with the very custom good day. races or you know appearances, bed. Oh, Thank yeah. you. Right. Uh, my problem with that is I'm the only person in the whole, you know, Skyrim in that case that yes. that looks that way. Oh yeah, I have those things. I wish to get rid of these things. Thank you. I might need it. And then everything that is not food. Yeah, these. Clearly. I could have kept the, the rat meat. I know it's pretty much food. If you're really, 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 really hungry. I'm not hungry enough to have those. Okay, that's a bit better. Let's say, because I'm not wearing those just yet, I can leave them here. Okay, what else is so heavy? Jeez, it's, I, I'm sure it's all the arrows together. Because there's so many of them. So let's say I'm going to put my very strongest arrows away. Anything above 25 I'm going to put away. That's 24, mind you. That's better already. And my current bow that is not doing a lot of damage because it needs repairs. In there, I'll be using the redwood bow that I found. It should be easier to get around. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. You went to bed and you woke up with a dragon tail. You're the dragonborn. That makes perfect sense, Onion. That's, uh, that's how it should be done. Actually, to be perfectly honest, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind that... When you become the dragonborn, you become a, more of a dragon kin type of character. I could go with that because, you know, dragonborn. My super, super new bow. Thank you. And this one I'll be able to fix. Alright, let's go to the farm. I'm getting rid of the detect life enchantment. I know it's really useful when you're a thief or an archer. Hello. I hope I can help. Yeah, maybe. Can I interest you in some of my <laughs> Nah, I'll take the cheese because it's cheese, but otherwise nah, is it Field, it is filled. I'll take you it. You bought that for a song. Did I? Thank Did you. I really? Be seen. All right, let's go to the farm and see uh, what does um, this gang of ladies want from me. It's that way, straight away. My goodness, if that was Morrowind, I would be so dead. And there's an uh, alien ruin that I have not explored. What's the time? Seven. And 
and we have some Daedra over there. And I don't know if the Daedras are fighting with... Oh, nice bow. Nice detail. Basically, I don't know if they are all my enemies, really. I hope that's a tiny spider. No, that's the actual one. And excuse me, but what is that? I mean, I, I see that's a gate. It used to be a gate. Oh, I think it's a tree. It's a tree that's still burning a little bit. Huh. Ugh. So we have a ruin and an oblivion gate. Let's do it that way. I think I have time. Since there are enemies somewhere, but I'm not seeing them. I think I have time to clear the ruin. There, is that an enemy? Yes. It was a necromancer. So, I think I have time to clear that ruin, go to the farm, and then we'll have a look at the Oblivion Gate. I'm still hoping we can find a really, really good uh, sigil stone for... I don't remember what I wanted to enchant, but I remember I wanted something. Hello, monochrome. Buddy. Really? That's your idea of fighting? Stop using your goats as meat shield. That's so cheap. Right? They didn't even get, let me, you know, have a look around. And we have three different corridors, no less, from that very first room. Okay. <gasps> okay, that was close. <laughs> that was a little scary as well. Ah, oh, lady, you fell for the trap. You have to look, you know. These people fall for the trap so easily. You appear to have... Uh, wait, let me <laughs> do that. You appear to have 4,531 items of armor and clothing installed. I mean, even if you play the game for... What? Five years? No, 10 years, you you wouldn't be able to wear all of it if you change your outfit every day. That's just crazy. It's even worse than I do in my Morrowind, I think. And I've been collecting clothes a little too much. It's a good thing Mifune-san is so short coffee mutton Ooh, I'm taking damage Using my super, super healing. That's probably why your Skyrim is 199 gigs. I'm not surprised. Though, let me have a quick look at the, the size of my Morrowind installs. We're going to do a quick save because it's been a while since we did. Not that. 
Africa. Let me have a quick look. Dun, dun, dun. Let me see my folder. Dun, 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 dun. Morrowind right now is going to take a while to <laughs> to calculate. I'm at two gigs. It's four gigs, six, seven gigs, eight. Oh my goodness, <laughs> ten. <laughs> Basically, I need a, a dedicated hard drive for Morrowind 15. That's it. I need a dedicated hard drive. That's it. What happened to the Lydia follower? Lydia? Lydia is in Skyrim, right? Uh, in Oblivion, it's uh, Vilia. 30, 40 gigs of Morrowind. 45 gigs. Okay, not bad. That being said, I have different installs of Mori. It's not just a single game. There's a, there's the Let's Play, there's the stream, there's the mod, and there's the new stream. Not bad though, not bad. Okay, back to the game, shall we? <sighs> I was counting the fact that Nexus Mod Manager keeps its files separate too. Do you mean it doesn't install the files in the data file? I mean, I don't understand. It keeps the zip files, like the, the downloaded files, in, in its own file. I'm saying file an awful lot, aren't I? But anyway, 8 gigs for a single game is very, very decent. And armor, especially if they're HD, then they can take an awful lot of space. See, they all came running and now this place is empty. I'll just take the coins, for the coins do not weigh much. Nightshade I want. You are filled, I want. Yes! Uh-oh. Was that Malakath? See, the whole place is just empty. It's just me with my footsteps. Why, oh why, am I picking up broken items? Because why not? They appear there, but they are virtual. Your Skyrim 32-bit install isn't virtual, no, clearly. So Zeriva, not not Lydia in Oblivion. I have Vilia, and I sent her home for a, for her go, for her uh, for her own good. Now that's a food truck. Almost. It works. Sorry, as I'm talking to you, I'm I'm spying on Aurel. Oh, enemy! I see you. But... I don't know which way they're gonna come from. There, thank you. That was close for me, Fune, wasn't it? Oh! <laughs> We I can fly. Wow, this one had a super high resistance though. Maybe I should try a different type of arrow. Mifune, you got the skelly? I trust you. Come on, get out of the way, skelly. Ugh. Coward hiding behind your pets and summons. Yeah, see the good it did to you? Not much. 
Okay, let's see if I can change my type of arrow. Your fallout is 102 gigabytes? Wow, how come? Is it because you have like HD textures or it's just even more mods? Then again, I assume fallout is bigger than Skyrim, even vanilla, but still, that's, that's huge. If this were Morrowind, grabbing something from the base of the statue would have made a Daedra appear behind you and attack. True that. Running into the same issue with the CS, there are always... Is there a way to modify NPC stats? Uh, yes, Kaz, you can do that. If you're talking about vanilla NPC, uh, they might be blocked. When you, when you double click on the NPC in the CS and you have the window that opens, you have uh, the, the ID, the name, the race, and I think somewhere at... in the upper part, uh, there is a little that's blocked that's ticked. Uh, Ariel, for example, you cannot modify Ariel his blocks. So you need to tick block to unblock it, then quick save, and then you can open the character window and then you'll be able to change the stats and the inventory and the spells the way you want it. Hope this works. Let me know. Dog's gone after Bony Boy? Wh what are you saying, sir? Oh, of course. I see, I see. Easy way to mod Morind is save up 5k septim and pay Denai to do it. <laughs> yes. At this rate, I might have to up my price to make uh, to make the mods. That being said, Onion, that heal mods, I, I essentially made it for you. But then again, I'll be using it because it's funny. Uh, right, let's go back to killing the enemies. Keeper of the Dead. Wow, that's a fancy name. No soul in that. Not interested. Hey, Mifune. I guess I really don't need to keep around my Will o' the Wisp. Might be a little overkill. There's really enough light as it is. Is this where I come from? Or I kind of doubt it. But then, you know, when I'm chatting... Come on, inventory, you can do this. I, I'm not very fond of those big sleeves. I mean, especially for an archer, it doesn't make much sense, I feel. But the enchantment is good and it's lighter than my armor, so... I'll bear with it. Okay, I haven't been there. It would be good if somehow these were connected, that way I don't have to go and explore that. Onion, thank you so much for the host. Much appreciated. Okay, so she's not blocked. The stats are available to change. However, the skills are not. Yes, the way the way to change the skills, uh, somewhere in the upper part, close to where it says female, to make it female or not, there is... Uh, what is it called? Something that makes the skill at the same level as the level of the character. I can't remember for the life of me what it's called. It's not auto level up, it's... You, you'll work it out, but basically when uh, when you have that selected, the character is level 10, it's a guard, so the skills are going to be immediately the ones assigned to a guard level 10. Look for that, it's uh, somewhere in that upper part where you saw the block and block. In the meanwhile, let's not fall in that trap. Anything good though over there? It's all very misty. It's just a huge room. A huge poisonous room. Does it lead to anything? Yes. Please lead to the entrance. I would like that. It would mean... Yes, that's the entrance. Okay. Good. That's auto-calculate stats. That's exactly the one. Yes. 
And congrats on leveling up to Novice. Yep, I can't jump high enough to avoid the the steam or whatever that is. And this will take me back where I was. Okay. You look at the list of pending armor mods to be merged. I'm guessing, yeah, if you have that many armors in your Skyrim, you must be running out of uh, slots for your mod. Staff of Skull. Me. Hello, zombie. Dead zombie. Double dead. Dead for good. Permanently dead. I don't know how you want to put it. Dead for now. That's it. Vampire dust. Yes. Oh, perfect sapphire. I have to take it. Yeah, no, I don't want to search through that corpse. So how is it? You put your hand through the guts and you could go, no, no, oh, wait, accept him. Don't want to do that. Currently, you got 14 pack with about 200 to 600 in each. That's an awful lot. That's an awful lot. Uh, you're welcome, Kaz. It's uh, always a pleasure to help. See? What did I say about this guy? They come back to life after a while, so you have to kill them. And then get the heck out of there, which I'm gonna do right now. This is me getting the heck out of there. You can keep your torch. Hey, Fenrir. Hey, Mifune. They're patrolling the area for me. Uh, nah. I've opened that one over there. Okay, this might be it. And half past nine, it's a good time to go to the farm and deal with a gang. Oh. I like that. Okay, good. Imagine what happens when I run Lootification would generate a version of each item with possible engine it could have. Well then, endless possibilities. I'm telling you, your 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 character, your followers, they can all all of them, you should have a a mod that changes their outfit automatically. Okay, we don't want to go to the Oblivion Gate just yet. We want to go to the farm. You all, yeah, you did succeed in uh, warding off the raccoons. I'll get to you later, Oblivion Gate. For now, let's go see what these ladies want. Ah, I thought I still had the dark vision spell on, but I do not. Continue your penance to earn the gods' forgiveness. Fine, clearly I haven't done enough. I have prayed at the shrine of Akatosh. Good. Good for me indeed. Miss me, buddy. <laughs> I really should check the loot. Frost salts are nice. And I believe we are arriving at the farm. What happened? What happened? I think my, my one of my pets just jumped a little too high.
That's another gate, isn't it? I've arrived at Gwedden. I need to wait until around 11 in the evening to go inside and find out what Faustina and Signy have in store for me. Sure, in the meanwhile, who are you? Are you a trader? Hello. Hello. Well met. Well met. You are a trader. Not smart to carry around. Let's have this fixed. This one I can fix myself. I have a few hammers. May I interest you in some of my fine wares? Um... Well, truthfully, yes, I'll have some beef. I'll take the lockpicks. Well, that's about it. And I don't think I have anything I want to sell because I've I've dropped everything that I don't plan on using myself. Thank you. You're welcome. Goodbye. You should probably leave this place though. It's not a good place. And right now I have Detect Life. The problem with Detect Life, I know it's it's really good for an archer, especially a sneaky one. But I can't tell apart, you know, my pets and my enemies. So we don't want more Mifunis and Hedgehog. Hey, nice. Is it too soon? Locked. And I need to wait because there are enemies nearby. I can't even actually make the time pass. So a number of things to do. We have an Oblivion Gate, an Alien Ruin, though I'm guessing it's going to be more of those uh, guys. reduced to running around in circles and picking up flowers when I see them. Whoop, no, don't do that. Or believe in stop. It's either thinking or crashing. All that because I said that I was, you know, because I was complaining I had to wait. Now it's crashing. Darn. Have it your way, Oblivion. I shall restart you. And close you. Yeah, without a second thought. There we go. Restarting. Six house. Yes, I'm with you. Kaz, hang in there. Don't die. And when is the last time I saved? There's the there's probably the auto save when I left the ruin. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I can I can run back. How is Ariel's nourishing going? Well, he's currently having his mini blueberry muffins. I think he's okay. Surviving. Starving? What? Come on! <laughs> Do not believe him. That's better. You made a little mod that changes the Spare of Light effect to cast on self. What is the normal effect of the Spare of Life? Uh, Spear of Life, sorry. Okay. 
Blink twice if you need help. <laughs> Fight the sixth house. Yes, that's exactly what we're doing. And welcome back, Rumble. Nice to have you back. And my pets are following me. That's good. I want to go straight to the farm. Hello. I keep saying I want to look at the other arrows that I have and I keep forgetting. Gotcha. Got some arrows back, got some silver arrows. Sure, why not? And we head straight towards the farm without rushing because I know I'll be there an hour too early. So really. Just wow. Did you die again? <laughs> I'm so sorry, Gaz. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's... Can I say? Fate. It is cast on strike. Uh, yeah, but what is the effect itself? What's new with you, Grumble? How was your week? A raccoon stole your car. <laughs> I'm sure you can get one for, you know, a hundred thousand septims. You can find something, I'm sure. Alright, we're here. And I can wait an hour. Good. It's a standard light effect. Oh, on the enemy. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Uh, let's go in and um, probably kill those ladies. I see you decided to take us up on our offer. Mm. Good. We could use another gal in the gang. Sorry. Here's how it works. I'm too pretty for your gang. Then when you so so. What if I say well, no? That, uh, I'm here for the ring. Damn! I knew it. I should. Okay, girls. We got. There's no need to shout. <laughs> and you're wearing a Daedric helmet. Okay, it's a bit of a mess, but. Oh, hello, God. You look upset that we deceived you. Please, don't think. Oh, I see. Your guards. Yes, you really didn't have to, you know, come up with the story. I would have helped you anyway. It's certainly not the hundred septims that I was promised for the ring, because that's stupid. I am annoyed that you deceived me. We had a feeling you'd be surprised when you saw us in our real uniforms. Uh huh. I see you have a puzzled look on your face. Ask away. No, I'm not puzzled. Gogan and I are really members of the Anvil City Watch. You don't I say. I suppose you could say we work undercover. Right. We've been trying to foil Faustina's gang for months now. Every time we tried to interview a man who was lured there, they refused to talk. The women in the gang picked married men to seduce for just that reason. It was decided the only way to stop this gang was to send in a stranger. Right. You fit the bill perfectly. It's a shame it had to end right. in so much violence. You joined their gang. Someone you did. Someone was bound to get hurt <laughs> sooner or later. I guess it could be fun, but you know, not with that character. It's not we'll her style. The, mess. the week Don't was fine, Grumble. You're happy that spring I'm is sure finally you had here. No choice. Yes, it is. If you ever lovely, find yourself isn't it? I was saying a little stop earlier on. The weather was so world. beautiful. Oh, uh, in the parks uh, in London, like, everywhere, people in You've bikinis well. getting and a tan the reward that or I trying promised. to. Me, I just enjoyed my uh, sushi in the park. A thousand septims, that's a bit better. Thanks for nothing. Don't spend all the money from the reward in one place. No, I won't. Got a lot to do here. Cheap wine. Nah. 
I'll take your keys and your septims. Wit splinter. Looks like it could be enchanted. Talk is free. What do you want? Money. Money. That's it. The scuba trade is making silver bowl. Now let's take the strawberries. I can give one to Vilia when I see her again. Hopefully she'll forgive me for leaving her alone. Sarina. And I already have the basement ah. key. Let me just go and have a look. I'm guessing that's where we find the, the loot. Everything they took from the guys. Just a little bit underwhelming so far. Wow. I mean, food is good, I guess. Onion is good. Lusty Argonian made, obviously. What else? Ah. Oaken Hall family jewels. That's something I like. Pity you can't re return the guy's pants. No. That was weird, but meh. Even the emeralds, that's no point for me to pick them up. I Pinarus Prize Minotaur Horn. That could be a quest item. I mean, it has a name and all that. Pinarus, uh, Ernest. I. Ernest Shoes. Ernest Fancy Pants, Astias, they have a name. I'm really hoping they can be returned. Enric, yeah, if I go to them, they're just gonna go, what? No, that, that's not mine. I can't wait to see you tonight. My every day is spent thinking about when we will next be together. Soon we will be married and we can be together forever. Shame. You true love. What? Shame. <laughs> Shame. Shame on you for Shame. breaking the rig comment. Wedding gift. Shame. The shame is not on me. I did not do anything with the rig comment. If anything, you're the one who just um, overused it. You broke it. Or maybe you've you've lost your touch with the rig comment. I don't know. I don't know you, sir. I did nothing though. Sorry, can't talk right now. But I don't want to talk to you, that's good. Okay, that is done. We said we need to take care of this. Yeah, I missed. I mean, from such distance. Come on, it's no big surprise. I really don't like coming from the from downhill because with the grass I can't see my enemies. I found a gate indeed. Can't miss it, honestly. Yeah, okay, there's this, uh... Gotcha. And you. Be gone. Daedra Silk, yes, we'll take it. Zeriva, you're lurking. Alright, I'll see you later then. Happy, happy game deving. It's a thing. I think I can uh, heal up a little bit before I go in there. Wow, that's Kai. Oh, something's. Silly, silly spider.
Let's do this. In we go. Please, please, please give me a gorgeous seed gel stone. Something just amazing. Go. This one is rather annoying, isn't it? It's the one where you need to go up these towers and expand some bridges. Oh uh, well, there's no point uh, complaining. Let's just get to it, shall we? For my trouble, I get a blood grass. And I wanted to double check. This time I'll think of it, what I can do with my arcane arrows. I did try the, was it magnetic? It was a fancy name. Oh no, it's there. Magnetic, oh, let me find it. Mundane shot, ripen shot, arcane shot, electrogravitic shocks. And I could choose between instant or charged. What I would like more than uh, settings is a description. Auto aiming, yes, yes. Damage message, definitely I want it. Console output, no. Configure shots. Uh, oh no. Okay. The thing is, I don't know the difference between those shots. It could be, it really could be that my uh, marksman right now is 100, I believe I'm maxed out. It could be that when you start you have only access to the mundane shot, that's what I'm guessing because I don't see why you would want to have a mundane or a rapid shot when you can have those. Let's try charged. Okay, well they didn't lie, that is charged. Complaining is mandatory for Oblivion Gates. <laughs> it's true. I mean, it does get... There's always something. But will you let me... Yes, that way. We can do that. In we go. We're sneaking. We have a pet right now. We're good to go. Anyone who's gonna try their luck at the Jenga tower? Oh, oh, wait. Just let me concentrate just for a sec. It looks very crowded in there. Well done, me. Uh oh, what was that? What flew my way? It looked like a shield, that's what it was. <sighs> well done Mifune, not a single arrow, we like that. Nice scramble. Strong potion of detect life. No interest whatsoever for me. My next Oblivion character will be using heavy armor so I can wear this so I can collect the whole set. I want it, I want it, I want it. Okay, let's move on. Do we have a Jenga battle happening there? I think I'm starting to get hungry. It doesn't tell me the, the amount of damage, which is a shame because I really enjoy when I get the message 
that tells me the damage that I dealt. I guess it's all um, it's all about vanity again. Okay. Don't bother with your tiny spiders. I have no interest in them. You dead? Not dead. Don't seem to see anyone. So this is when we see this is not extended. So no. This where does it go? Hall of Shame, good. You just downloaded the mod for the readme. Just give me... W which mod did you download, Prof? I think I just missed that bit. No, I don't know which mod you, you downloaded. And I... Really shame. can't see anything. Shame! shame. Why the shame? Shame! 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 shame. Grumble, please tell me that you were just curious about the shame command, not that you think I should feel ashamed. Shame out for the whole of shame, of course. Good, good. <sighs> Thank you, Mifone. You know, you can let me fight sometimes. I can do it too. Uh, these shots are costing me magicka and I can see it. That's good. Because the arcane shot, I didn't see my magicka go down. So it really felt o OP. Let's see what we got in the Hall of Shame. Hopefully no shameful defeat. That'd be, you know, a shame. It's a terrible pun. It's not even a pun. Shame on me for that one, I guess. Stay down, stay down. There we go. This one had nothing Shame. but arrows. <laughs> Shame. 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 The one I'm using, it won't display the huge block of text I copied and Shame. pasted. Alright, what does it say? Is it based on the, on your level to have access to what all the shots? Hey, Skink. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? You cannot kill a god. Unless you've killed all the Ash Vampires and you're the Nerevarine. But honestly, that's a very rare occurrence. For most people, it's just not gonna work. True story. Alright. Moving up. Uh oh. Shh. No, Fenrir. I'm sorry, puppy. I'm so sorry, puppy. Pa puppy, please don't don't jump at my arrows. I see you. Anyone else? Marksman skill is a major factor and most everything scales with it, including the shockwaves and passive bonuses. Cool. Good. So I don't have to try uh, and see what the hydrating... I cannot. 
Okay, fine, I can. I do have water. Should a puppy win a prize? It was an accident. I would never. Good. Anyone else coming from there? I feel peckish. Yeah. I really do. No one. How disappointing. The sorrow shrine. I don't have a sorrow comment. But that's where we need to go to pull a lever up there. In here. Let's just. Oh. Okay. All right. I hope no creature has heard that. I cannot hold my electromagnetic arrows. Otherwise it drains my magicka, which is fair, but also my health. Not holding it. Okay, Daedra. <laughs> Just pass right in front of me. I like that. I like that. Go straight for the kitten, I guess. I was lucky, I could have seriously died there. I like how they send me my arrow back immediately. And this is what we need. This one. And we need to go up the other tower. And do the same. You never know. Let me quick save. Your interwebs cannot handle the resolution. Oh. Can, can you just reduce it on your end? To something, you know, still watchable, obviously. Now, this should be only partially drawn. Completely? You completely... Yes? Oh, that's nice. I was so sure I, was have to, I would have to go... Yes, I do. Okay. This is the Sigil Tower. Sorry, Fenrir. Thank you. So let's get the second one. And then the third one if we have to. <sighs> the Anguish. So I cannot draw my bow before I see the enemies, otherwise I kill myself. This is important to know and remember. Missed. I'm sort of assuming that electro another fire puppy that walked past me that's good what are you doing fire puppy okay next he thought the cat was pre-fight or hors d'oeuvre <laughs> is there an error on my side I don't think so can you have a quick look at my stream please it's good. Mm, seems to be from you, Skink. It's uh, it's working fine on my end. Uh, that being said, guys, if any of you have a problem, do let me know. Uh, as we, we know. We were just talking about the fire puppy. Huh? We were just talking about the fire puppy. Yeah, there's a tiny bit of delay. Just a few seconds. Now we need to go one floor down and get the exit. Oh 
for Jamie. Let's go down. Thank you, Mifune-san, for taking care of this one. It freezes all the time. Anyone else has the same issue? No, okay. I'm sorry, it's going it really looks like it's on your end. Wait, do I want to go to the old... I don't think I want to go to the Hall of Fame. Of Fame. I <laughs> guess the, the Hall of Fame is not bad. Sorry, I take that back. It, it's the, the Hall of Shame. I don't think I want to go back there. There should be a way that takes me through... No, I have to go through the Hall of Shame to get to the next level. Fair enough, fair enough. We go, we go. It's like for just a couple of seconds, maybe three times. So we've taken care of these guys. Sorry. Uh, oof. We want to go down and out. It's pretty dark down there. Sorry, Bye, sorry. have a great time. Who's leaving? Skink, you're going. All right, Skink, see you soon. Have a great time as well. It's a shame it's not working. Well, it should be okay on Monday. Fingers crossed. Have a great weekend until then. Right. And we can hear there is a turret, so we want to go through that quickly. Let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go. Eesh. Fortunately, there were no enemies, so that helps. Ah. So it would seem that I've been there. Okay, this should be it. Yes. Yes, it is a sigil tower. Good, good, good. Sorry, Fenrir. Okay, good. I love my pets, but um, I'd rather, you know, I didn't have to jump. Because they're blocking the way. The brooding fortress is that? That is not. Not sure. We'll see. Bye bye, Scampy. Bye bye, Clan Fear. And this is when we start the ascension, once again. Dark corridors of salvation, so good, going up, that's what I want to see. 
I see many people playing Merwin with the same problem. I can't imagine playing playing without move or take my place. Oh, I have that automatically. Um, though in the last, I only have take my place. But same thing, it's that it's Abbott's mod cannot play without it, especially with companions. But honestly, even without companions, it's it's a must, I think. Oh wait, traps. I see you. I see you, trap. You're not fooling me. You nearly did. Go on, Mifune. Finish it off. There we go. That was his skill. Successfully removed five arrows? I shot one. How did that happen? Is it from other corpses? Uh, it gathers all the arrows from all the corpses nearby? Maybe. Just one arrow this time. Maybe it's because of all the corpses nearby. I could make sense. And this is it. This one is not charging though. It looks like the charge arrow is the one that needs to be, you know, you need to draw the bow for a while. And if you keep it too long, then it backfires. As opposed to the instant damage. I like both. Six house. Quick. Let's, let's fight the six house before I go and deal with the, you know, with the Dremora and the Daedra. Not dead. And I've missed, come on. Cause I didn't make I didn't wait until it charge charges. Yeah, I think I got me funny. I'm sorry, me funny. Or maybe not, maybe that was not my attack. With a little uh, sound to confirm. Five arrows. Yeah, it must be from all the bodies around. Because now the seducer has none. And I'm guessing this one will have none as well. Any more? Or... No. Looks like it could be it. Charge now. That was very pretty. It's a shame it's not dead. But I can understand how my electromagnetic arrows don't hurt a storm atronach very much. That really does make sense. Eh. Morrowind solves the problem by everyone being killable. Yes, it's a little uh, drastic, even though even though you don't want to kill everyone. Hey, Alandro Soul, welcome back. How's your weekend going, Alandro? <laughs> oh, crap. I didn't quick save, and we know that I do die here if I don't keep on healing myself. But I also want that. Both. Don't let me die. Okay. Good. We, we became more famous too. Nice. You're good. Well, that's good. Clearly. 
<sighs> All right, what is left? We have we have a ruin to explore. We have a cave to explore, but also I think. Oh, buddy, your gate is gone. How about you give me a break? But also close to the farm, there were more. But these are nearer, so let's go. Mm, the ruins down there. I think it's gonna be the cave. The cave is down there too. Either way, I won't really be able to travel back up afterwards. I mean, I know Oblivion is kind of uh, generous with acrobatics and athletics. It would appear that there is a cave that leads under Castle Anvil. The rumor indicates that Dunbar Cove may be located under the castle itself. I should head into the cave. Okay that cave then i'm still going to take care of this ruin even though that's my third elven ruin of the day i think i won't be needing arrows for quite a few no no mifune sorry mifune i won't be needing quite a few arrows for a long time and shaft and silver arrowheads. I like that. Mifune? Mifune? I was kidding. I don't want you to go away. And now my cat is sulking, hiding in the tall grass. Oh, there. Ah. Come with me, Mifune. And this is the hunt for the door. Maybe here. Down there. Looks promising. Very promising. Here we are. Good. Let's have a proper save. And head in. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a, a mini blueberry muffin while this is loading. Curse you for loading too quickly. Where is the summoner? Ooh. You're there. I see you. I see you. I see you. Come on, pets. Kill it because it's annoying right now. Okay, good. And we're having the lag again, which means I'm gonna save and restart Oblivion. That fixes it. Don't ask me why. Because because Bethesda or because mods, let's be honest. It really could be just uh, something funky with the mods. I'm not sure I quick saved because there's an enemy over there. Okay. Also gives me an opportunity to <laughs> have another bite. We're starting Oblivion. Here we go. Hmm. So 
a shame I don't have a cup of uh, tea to go with that. Water will have to do for a little while. Okay. Let's go take care of those enemies. Without lag. Mom, stop being a coward and hiding behind your summons. Here you are. Gotcha. Yes. Unfortunately, the summons don't disappear. You dead for good? Yes, that Spriggan doesn't come back to life. Does it tickle when I use my electromagnetic arrows on you? Quick, 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 quick. Your turn. And somehow, I guess the, the recoil of my bow somehow made me jump. Now my magic is pretty low because I was uh, I was drawing my bow a lot. Hydrating, thanks, onion. Right on it. <sighs> yes, the little thing. Okay, let's uh, let's clean up a bit, shall we? And all these arrows. I should be able to craft more arrows as well. Definitely. Maybe I don't have... Usually it's the, the arrowheads that I'm missing. But I have found a few now. Did you have any more arrows for me? No. How... Not interesting. Nah, thank you. That I can open. Ease burden, sure, let's learn that. Iron Strongheart and the Nord. I'll uh, read it real quick and see if there's, you know, if it can teach me anything. Ease Burden hopefully will teach me the spell. Possibly a feather spell. Could be useful. Mm hmm. Learn alteration spell on self. So clicking on the book doesn't teach me the spell. I need to cast it from the book, I guess. And now I've learned it. Check out these guys and then I'll try to make some arrows. Let's see. I should be able to make arrows better than iron arrows. Silver arrows, I think. Hmm. 
fletching jig. Okay, I can make whew, an awful lot of uh, lots of things. Let's start with uh, the 75 silver arrows. Thank you for that. Let's do the 24 steel arrows. And then whatever I have left, I will use to make iron arrows. Might be not much. 41. And by the way, the sigil stone that I got, that's the new one. Fire shield, 25% on self. I would be inclined to have that, seeing as I burn very easily. Though I would like to think that by now, I mean, that's there. There's my weakness to fire 50% because I'm made of wood. Okay. But now I have 30 resist fire. 28 resist magic. 30 fire shield. Honestly... I should be okay without enchanting an item with more fire shield effect. It's too quiet. I think that might be it. That might be everything we got for this map. Alright, unless I jump not here, but there. Not here, because I killed a guy already. But... That looks like the longer tunnel though. And I like the elven arrows. Yes. You bet I charged it a lot. Sorry, puppy. My stomach is grumbling, both in game and in real life, I can tell you that much. Nothing that I would want. That's where I jumped, right? Glass arrows, yes please. Charged? Nice. That will allow me to recharge my enchanted items somewhat seriously. Because the petty ones I keep finding. Well, my acrobatic is so good I could almost jump back up there. Didn't that work? There we go. Kill at master level. I mean, oh wow. Yes, we're gonna save that one. You know that, um, what was it? Dremora Prince in the Imperial City, the one that kept killing me. He's getting that one. I am saving it. There's his name on it. I think he actually had a special name too. Well, I don't remember the name, but it's on that scroll. Okay, this is good. Good. 
good as well. And that bow is the one that I have now. Happy to have a second one in case I want to enchant one. That's not very elegant, guys. One on top of the other. Manners. Don't see anyone down there. I think they've already rushed towards me. And perished. Though someone is fighting. It's not here. Puppy, you're just staying here and taking the poison damage? Get out. Get out. Fenrir is unconscious, obviously. Fenrir, you had to move. Uh, 23 damage. Not taking it. Yes. I mean, okay, it's elven arrows. It's different. I like them. And... Is that some... Okay, okay. No need to, you know. It's not something that I can pick up or stop, I don't think. So my best bet is to just get the heck out of there, I think. Though there's something there. And there is a second level. Here. And there is someone. This ends here. Okay. Oh. That's it. No one else. Nothing that I can see in here. Alright, that looked... I don't know if that's a big hole in, uh, in the floor or if there's actually a trap. Let me see. What? No. What? No, no, no. Ignore... I mean, don't ignore them if you want to buy something. But I do not get a hundred pounds if you buy it. And, uh, no, that would be nice, though. It is not the case, though. Feathers, yes. And that is something that I want to disable. What it said is that it would put a reminder that people can use loot if they want to it's like cheering but you know without bets and you don't pay anything but instead of putting a reminder that you can do that it's basically it's the loot system that's sending the the ads so I just really need to go and stop it yes a nice juicy steak would be nice come on elves well, well, how about you die now? I'm running out of magicka. What was that? Ah. I don't know, the, the shape was weird. It looked like a dog that was just sitting there.
Sorry, Mifune. You got yourself an arrow again. Pretty quiet again. <sighs> Not useful for me at this point. This looks like this could be the end of that area. <laughs> yes, and you know what? That'd be fair. That'd be fair if uh, Mifune-san wants to use me as a scratching post. I think that's completely fair considering the number of arrows he's taken for me, honestly. Prison, not prison, trap, thank you. You hit me, but you're not gonna survive a second hour. There. This is the end of you. I have to let the arrow go because otherwise I'm going to kill myself. There you are. I am getting quite a few arrows exploring those ruins. It's fair, I guess. I think I heard more swearing. There we go. Sorry for the extra unnecessary arrow. It wasn't spite, it was it was easier to just release it. Mifuni san is unconscious somewhere. There you are. We charge it good and release it. Not happening. I like how Fenrir follows me, but from a safe distance. Basically, he's forgotten how to walk and he just teleports to me every once in a while. And that would be possibly the way out. Oh yes, be invisible. Yes, yes, I will eat soon, I promise. Come on, you're almost dead. You want to die, you know it. There we go. I believe now I can open the gate. Oh, Mifune, come. He could have opened it himself. Sacred Hornbow 28. Nice, I like that. Anyone else who dares defy me? Yes. Charge, 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 charge. Not dead though. Yeah. 
The way they, they stand up again. There we go. Now you're dead. No! My goodness. You are a survivor. How about now? Oh, where did I take the dagger? I really don't want that. And I've picked two of them. It's true they do look like uh, arrows a little bit. Yeah, those iron arrows, I have to remember to not make them. They are the weakest arrows I have. And I did say I wouldn't keep arrows that are not doing at least 15 damage. This is the door to Dostaris. But have I? Yeah, I have. And this is how I get out. Fine. Just need to find which way is the shortest. That way. Thank you. So, don't I need to be up? I... I don't know, I seem to remember. Then again, I remember wrong. The exit is actually lower down. Fair enough. Okay. Alien ruin explored. We need to go to the cave and see uh, that thing about the tunnel. It should be it should be Dunbarrow Cove. Who? What? Oh, guys. At some point, surely they would become a little wiser and realize that they really should just stop attacking me. Oof, you say. Of course. Sorry, Frost. I think you're the one who got my magnetic arrow in your face. This way to what I think is the Dunbarrow Cave. And if I remember, that's the DLC with a pirate ship. Which is really not suitable for that character, but... I'm not even sure I even looked at it. I'm guessing that's the entrance over there. And it would be good to know if it's actually a good home for a pirate rogue like character. We'll see. Thank you. In we go to the smuggler's cave. Mifune, good to have you with me. I do have a green quest marker, which is pretty promising. Still cutlass. Yeah, no, thank you. 
I followed the rumors and found Dunbarrow Cove and the remains of the Black Flag. However, the cavern is overrun by the skeletons of the pirates who perished there. I'll have to put them all to rest before I can begin to refit the cove. Fair enough, let's do that. Not until we've picked up a couple of mushrooms. There we go. Okay, where are you, pirates? Yeah, that looks pretty cool. It, uh, it makes me think of The Goonies. Which, admittedly, is not a movie that has aged very well. Nonetheless, that's what it makes me, it makes me think of. Captain's Quarters. Uh, that's pretty... Oh, hello. Captain Dugal. I helped, okay. I'm finding it unlikely that anyone will be funding this journal. Wrong. But if they do, know that here be written the last words of the great captain Torodin Agdugal, scourge of the Abyssinian Sea, terror of the Gold Coast, cutthroat. Sorry, cutthroat of Hunting Bay and Lord Captain of the Red Sabre, the finest band of buccaneers and pirates ever to sell Tamriel. I ain't a man with much use for words. I ain't never been no academies, <laughs> clearly. I ain't never wrote no books. Words ain't never earned me no goals. So there's worthless to me. That's why ye quartermasters and first mates. But I'm going to be setting my last thought down here on paper because I ain't got much time left here. And it's every old man's right to have his last words heard. Fair enough. There was an animated series in, the, in 1981 I watched recently. And the first episode you watched was much, much, much worse than you remember. What is it? Is it Dungeons and Dragons? Because that didn't age very well either. What was the name of the series? Like 81, that could be, you know, the sort of things I watched as a kid. As a kid. <laughs> no revenge for you, Onion. Sorry. All right, last word of the captains. Now, me business was fighting, sailing, and looting. I became a leader of sailing men, the most feared in history, or so they tells me. Now, before ye be getting ahead of yourself, let me be warning ye that me tales does not end well, as I'm sure you can see from wherever ye find the rotten bones of this God's cursed cavern. I was born in a little town on the north coast of Skyrim called Dunbarrow. My mother was a wrench and my father was a right bastard. The only thing that either of them ever did for me was doing me the favor of selling me off to a sea captain where, when I were nine. The captain, he taught me everything and I'd ever need to know about sailing and a few things about the rest too. You see, he were a smuggler and taught me all about smuggling and avoiding the Imperial Navy as he run the Skuma route from Daggerfall to Vivek. Shame he were caught and hung. He were as close to a daddy as Zol Pirate ever knew. Closer than closer than that bastard that sold me off ever were, that's for sure. Whew, this is this is exhausting. The Adventures of the Galaxy Rangers. Is it one where... I have to Google it up. I remember one where they're a family. And and they have, of course, that big robot. And they all do different parts. I can never remember that. Or no, I'm thinking of another one. Galaxy Rangers. Galaxy Ra No, that's not the one I'm thinking of. Because the one I'm thinking of is actually it's uh, it's Japanese whereas this one is an American production. You recognize the style the GI Joe style. And that's something that I never watched not because I wouldn't have wanted to, but it was a non-French TV. 
The episode that used the two better studios were much better quality. Space Western with superhuman low men. Well, that sounds cool. That's definitely the sort of things I would have watched as a kid. Okay, part two. Let me have a bit of water. After the captain were hung, I got around the hammer full a lot. Fell in with a few crew here and there and after a time got myself hired as a miss midshipman on Captain Calatus Rig. Of course, Calatus was a drunkard and the damn fool ran his own ship around in Anvil afore we could any real we afore we could any real parroting done. Okay, so embarrassed were he that he drank himself to death in one of his pistol tavern in this flat little sea water town. So there I were in a backwater port where the war against the usurper broke out. I were out on hire on hire with a rickety tub and her worthless rot of a captain when the Imperial Navy stole every private ship in port to go and fighting their war he was coming back in the dock when we heard about it now only a fool doesn't bite when he smells blood in the water and that captain of ours was gonna hand his rudder over to the navy the rest of us well we didn't so much like that we cut his throat and tossed his worthless carcass in the depth of hemismora to feast on the rest of us put keel to this mud hole and broke for the nearest cove to lay low for a while now the thing that i learned about war is that it's profitable for just about everyone except for the poor bastard that actually have to go and fight it while the navy were busy putting down the revolution they were too busy to worry about a bunch of pirates running up and down the gold coast and even better for us the navy was needing a stream of supplies up in high rogue to fight and dinner have the ships to escort them oh dinner didn't in case you don't be knowing cargo vessels without escort is a pirate's best friend in just a couple of years i had every buccaneers from here to valenwood flying under me flag we had dozens of ships and crew and more men joined on every day soldiers and sailors cast off from the war escaped prisoners they were the best cutthroat and son of whore that a pirate captain could ever wish for it brings a tear to me eye to think of them all but even better than the men were the ships captured navy cutters refitted privateer galleons even had a few of them bosom ship with a funny living sail in my fleet I didn't know that Bozma ships had living sails. The finest ship I saved for myself, the Black Flag. You'll find her rotting hole around here. She don't look like much now, but I can tell ya that in her day, there weren't no vessel she couldn't outrun. All these men and ships were called ourselves the Red Sabre. The merchant ships called us Death on the Sea. We got to be so feared that most crews just abandon ship when they see our flag on the horizon. With no navy to stop us, Captain Foradin, Ab Dougal and the Red Sabre was known all over the east. Now, ain't one to brag, but the Empire had a bounty on me of 40,000 coins. Now that's something to be proud of. Of course, the poor bastards could never collect it. Anvil being that wretched den that it is, and most sailor there what sorry we got interrupted by a skeleton you know what I'm gonna pick this up Oops. and I'll read the rest of the story for myself because we really ought to you know clear that place Red Sabre Skeleton. They're not super, super weak. It does take a couple of charge arrows to take care of them. If only, will you? Good. That counts as finish off. It's dead. Now that's cool looking. It would be, you know, better with lights and flowers to suit my taste, but uh, I can see, I can see the 
it would be a good place. I don't know where you come from, my will o' the wisp. And that skeleton is. I'm not getting. That's one problem with the with the electromagnetic arrows. I'm not getting the damage. E. Okay, you're looking weird. We're gonna let you be there. And that's the way I come from. Yes. Let's go back then. <laughs> you wanted to hear the story. I'm sorry. We'll have to... We'll have to continue the story later, but I think it's more important to get rid of those skeletons first. And then we can, you know, sit down and enjoy the books. <coughs> Come on, be dead. I mean, you can give them credit for being rather persistent. Come on. Yeah, this one's dead. And uh, welcome ahead the ahead of the meta. Whew. It's quite a mouthful. Yes, I'm really hungry. I also need to kill everyone in there so I can sit down, preferably in the captain's quarters, and um, and have something to eat. Charge! You're almost dead. Keep it up. I didn't charge enough and I think the damage varies. Oops, out of arrows. Tiny detail. And that could be the last of the skeletons. Good. I didn't even make coffee today. Would you believe it? And right now I don't have enough water. And I guess it's more dinner time than coffee time, so... I shall be reasonable. Let's get rid of the weak arrows. Good. I've destroyed the last of the undead pirates and claimed Dunbarrow Cove as my own. The cabin and the hulk of the black flag are in terrible condition after hundreds of years on the ground. I should speak with Dahlia Rackham of the Carabella. She will be able to assist me in hiring a crew to turn Dunbarrow Cove into a suitable base of operation. That's not very secretive. I don't know. I'm not sure you should bring a whole crew in there. I think I can do without the bone meal. Can I go there? And if I go there, can I get up again? I didn't mean to shoot that. That's the captain's quarters and I've already looked at it. I don't see how I can get away from this part. But clearly there's a door, right? Nice prof. Come on map, show me the door. Right. Okay, I'm not gonna risk it, seeing as we have no levitation or teleportation. So we're just gonna leave and um, as soon as we have the money we'll see if we can uh, give this place a, a fresh look. I really hope that when we do it there's more uh, source of light because even though it looks really cool if there isn't light to go with it it's gonna be quite meh. Before we go, 
like King Minos. Oh, uh, right. You need to make sure that they don't leave afterwards. Yes, that would work. Like King Minos locking up Daedalus. Mm -hmm. Which is why you need Ariana's. What is it called in English? Ariana's thread, I guess. As for me, I want my plate. Thank you. I want to have. Yeah, let's have something quite filling. Piece of meat, two loaves of bread, onion to give it a, you know, a little bit of a taste. Sweet roll for dessert and an orange for the vitamins, I guess. And that makes us fed. Food unit 33.6. I should be stuffed, yes. Wait, that's the way out, I think. Oh no. That's if you do fall, then that's the way out. Actually, one of that was one of my uh, victims, I think, or not. I mean, I did recover the arrows, but again, I think the script just recovers all the arrows from all the nearby corpses. All right, let's get out. There's nothing here for us just now, at least. Cursed by the raccoons. <laughs> Sorry, onion. Not even finding mushroom. Unbelievable. And that's new. So we also have a cell. You never know when that could be useful. I do need to sleep, but nah, I think I'll wait until I can find an inn. I do like my comfort. Actually, no, it's not a matter of comfort. It's just this place is just too grim. Otherwise, my, my dryad can sleep rough. That's not a problem. And here's the door. I don't think I explored that bit. Good, that gives me some XP because I hadn't read it before. Skill book, may have read that one before. I do not have the key that makes me go straight to the castle. Or at least I don't have it yet. Ninroot? Did I see Ninroot? I did. Oddly enough, I saw it but I didn't hear it. way out was there not bad now we've been questing around anvil and that's great what we need to do now is uh, what we started this whole session with and that is go to the imperial city and see what's up we have all our recommendation from the guild of mages so we should be allowed to go in the Arcane University and that's the very first time for me. So that's pretty exciting. Come on inventory, you can do this. There we go. Map. I still have a quest here. It's not really a quest, it's the one to go and uh, buy stuff for the cove. And that can wait. And this is what? 
Mm. That's the quest with the two twin brothers that I reunited. This is a quest I haven't done yet. I don't know why those have been added to my map. Might be worth checking. All kinds of dogs, but not the right kind, Prof. I want to go to... Not the city waterfront. Imperial Arcane University. Okay. They better, you know, welcome me properly, greet me with all the honor I deserve. And I even come with my whole retinue, my, my wisp. They should be fairly impressed that I have, you know, a wisp. Okay. Are you have look you important. Hello, You're associate. The one. It seems you've obtained the final recommendation. You I required. have. He's that imperial. Yeah, yeah, Jason. yeah. Sure. The arcane university has been here for nearly as long as. Interesting, but. I have received recommendations from all the local guild halls in Cyrodiil. You've done well for yourself. You may now enter the university. As a full fledged member of the Mages Guild, I now also promote you to the rank of apprentice. I'm an apprentice? And grant you the After role all of that? Of the apprentice. Take a moment and try it on. Then we shall speak of what comes next for you. Hello, apprentice. That's me. I'm an apprentice now. Um, now, it's a good idea that you need to get a recommendation from every uh, chapters of the guild. However, let's be re let's be honest. It doesn't really test your aptitude for magic. It tests your aptitude for traveling and not dying on the road. So, hmm. but let's try this robe of the apprentice and see if it looks good at all. I mean, if the enchantment is good. Uh, who am I kidding? I just want to see what it looks like. Shoop, shoop. Hmm. There we are. Okay, Robe of the Apprentice, 45 will power 6. Yeah. I mean, I'll wear it to talk to him. We come to the real work at last. You have, no doubt, seen some of the worst the Guild has to offer. As much as we try to hold mages to a higher standard, they are only human. I what disagree I hope you will there, Merns, there, the Kajis, Argonians, but you know. Hey, there we go. Some wonderful things. <laughs> now you have an You're doing more than breaking even, Onion. Tasks and continue with your advancement through the guild. Mm -hmm. Let's advance. You do not yet qualify. Figures. Before you can begin work for the guild, you'll need to do something for yourself. Sure. Every mage carries a staff. It is crafted and enchanted by the guild and is a symbol of status. You need such a staff. Well, give me one. The wood used for staves comes from a grove to the northeast of the Imperial City, near Wellspring, Wellspring Cave. Cave. The name rings a bell. Several mages tend to the grove and should be able to assist you. Speak with either Zarasha or Eletta when you arrive and choose wisely. I feel like Harry Potter now. Wellspring. Yeah. You have your ta May I interest you in some of my fine wares? Hmm. I mean, I'm really not good with spells, so no, not really. But I should be able to... Steps. No. Oh, that's the... The Arkin University. Okay. Oh. Just send me out. Where, where's the whole thing I have access to? Imperial Orary... Good to see you. I admit to sharing the common. I feel like there's nothing to the university. Maybe they were they were great. Can I open that now? Yes. Okay. Good. You're an apprentice like me, aren't you? Ah. You must be. Indeed, I am. Greetings, apprentice. I know you're busy, but I. 
Hmm? What's yes. up with your yes, eyes? Yes, I'm sure you've got something exceedingly important to say. But the apprentice... I've got a moment, but little more. What do you need? I won't take They're up much of pretty rude, aren't they? Well, Hello, Gildred. You should know. I've had a breakthrough. And none Excellent. of them have names, so I don't feel that they are particularly important. <laughs> so I don't really want to waste my time talking to them. Even though they're all, you know, high and mighty. That was just the admission office. So what else do we have? I mean, I did see the entrance to the Archmage Shembos, but I guess it's a little too soon to try and go there. Being just an apprentice. I mean, I was surprised with my rank, but the truth is I, w I did join as a novice and then I got kicked out. So I'm keeping this on. Then I got kicked out and for the longest time I was picking up flowers to be accepted again. So I feel like... I've been in the guild for so long and I've done so much for them. But it's true, I probably didn't. Mage quarters. Alright, we'll visit, you know, all of that at some point. But for now, I have to be honest with you, I need... I need food. I really do need food. So I'm going to call it a day. I mean, we're not doing uh, we're not doing the one hour game jam because, well, out of streaming is sorry is uh, making a game, but he will probably be streaming his uh, game dev at some point. I don't know when exactly, but that will happen. When that happens, anyway, I will uh, I will host it and. Um, and let you know on the Discord, which reminds me. Do feel free to stop by the Discord if you'd like to. It's a nice place. Uh, it's not really an early finish onion. I mean, typically I play until half past nine. Uh, and at that time, then we do the one hour game jam. Except now, now I'm going to cook because if I don't cook, we're not going to have food and and I really, really need it. That being said, tomorrow I will be... Okay, that's two minutes early. My bad, two minutes early. But you know by the time I say goodbye to everyone, we'll be there. Um, yes, I was going to say tomorrow I will be streaming uh, earlier than today. And for now it's a mystery stream because because I'm not sure what I will feel like playing. It could be that I continue with, uh, with the incredible adventures of Van Helsing, because I'm still enjoying that one. Or it could be something completely different. Actually, I was thinking maybe to try the Morrowind permadeath setup and see how it goes. So, clearly, I don't know exactly what I'm going to stream tomorrow, but I am going to stream for sure. Um, guys, that is it for me. I wish you a lovely, lovely Saturday, what's left of it. And after that, a lovely Sunday. If I don't see you tomorrow, then uh, good luck with the week that's going to start after that. Bye bye, guys. Have a lovely time. Thanks for stopping. Really, it means a lot. Bye. Bye. Have a great time. Love is in the air.